<laughs> hey guys, how are you? Are you great? I hope you're fabulous. It is a an amazingly beautiful day here in Philly, like gorgeous. Like I'm I'm a little sweaty, I have to say, but it is absolutely gorgeous out and I I wanted to connect with you guys. I told you I do a countdown before I do free online trainings and here it is 3 days until three ways to find more time and money for the things that matter. Um, with Mala, my good friend Mala, who's amazing, who's trained by Oprah Winfrey's life coach. Like, she's super cool. By the way, we're going live together on Monday night, so you better be there. But um, I wanted to talk about this idea really quickly um, of, like, one door closing and another door opening. And I think, I, I don't know if this is, like, a weird angle. I was, like, working on something. Like, I, I have a commission I'm working on, so... Um, I thought maybe I would work while I talked, but I clearly am not going to do that. <laughs> um, but so I have been struggling with, um, being able to feel like I have this emotional connection with food that is, um, that it's a social thing. It's like I'm included with, if I'm eating with people or drinking with people and, when, because it's a bonding thing, right? Eating is bonding. And for me, recently, a door has closed, which is I'm not allowed, or I shouldn't be eating gluten because of my stomach. And um, for me, that was like a huge slap in the face. And this morning I meditated, I did my, um, my visualization, which I'm sure you guys know about by now, where I imagine I am my successful, happy self um, in the future. So this morning I did a year in the future and I also did 30 minutes of meditation and I realized something, especially as pertains to like this transition for me, it's that when one door open or one door closes, that another one opens. And I know this is like so cliche and you've all heard it a gazillion, quadrillion times, but when I found out that I wasn't supposed to be able to eat, like I wasn't supposed to eat gluten anymore for the next six months until my stomach can like reevaluate. I felt so disappointed and so, like, I don't know. Are there any, like, gluten-free people here, like, or any allergy people who, like, got allergies late in life or, you know, something, like, came up for you? Because this is my thing recently. And I've, I've been, I went out with my friends last night. I had a really, really great time with them. But I found, I found I was in this space, this place yesterday where all my friends were eating all of this delicious food and they were thoroughly enjoying it. And I got to order garlic spinach like I was like she's like yes what would you like and I was like garlic spinach please like I was so upset so everybody else was getting like chicken and waffles and burgers and like just delicious stuff but anyway so this door closed for me and uh so last night I was really disappointed I was, re I was actually really upset about it it like really got to me I was sitting at dinner like sipping my water like great spinach <laughs> and which by the way I'm drinking this amazing um, herbal tea that is like I whatever it's super cool and super good it's part of my new diet and um, I was I was meditating this morning and then I did my visualization and what came to me was that yeah, you're really disappointed that you can't eat certain foods anymore or for the time being, but imagine all of the amazing foods that you're going to get to try and be forced to try because you, because of this. So like, I totally, uh, I was talking to my health coach, shout out to Shannon. What, what? <laughs> um, she's amazing guys. She's really awesome. I was talking to her and um, she's like, you should try eating this and this and this. And like, there was a bunch of these veggies and fruits and random food items that I've never, ever heard of. And what got me excited, like when I first went into this, I was like, I'm not excited about this. I think that I know I need to do it, but I just like, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. And what got me excited was the fact that, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to try so many new foods. I'm going to be like, it's going to be like traveling, but with food, like you're going to, I'm going to be able to, to explore and experience new things. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make a goal of trying one new like like food item a week, introducing that and like exploring how to cook it. And 
that's exciting to me because I've never done anything like that before. I've pretty much stuck with my palate, tried new things out in restaurants, but it's kind of become like, it's going to become for me a creative practice and it, it excites me. And so I wanted to say to you guys, if there's something that, and I'm like preaching to myself too, I, I'm always preaching to myself, uh, in this way, is that if there's something that you feel, like, really disappointed in life about, like, maybe your relationship ended, maybe you've got a dietary restriction now, maybe you just left a job, you might have just got fired, I don't know, like, whatever it feels like is closing in your life and is, like, squeezing you out of it, like, it's like, get out, you cannot have me anymore, whatever this thing is, whatever this situation is. Take a moment to step back and say, like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I do want these things. Because usually we don't get pushed out of our comfort zone, like, by God or the universe or whatever you believe, circumstance. Um, unless, if we are already in a place that is in alignment with our heart and, and who we are and what we want out of life, we won't get squished out. We won't. If, if something's off alignment, then we are going to be forced on to, to new things to be able to be able to succeed in whether that's just being happy, whether that's getting the promotion, whether that's having a healthy relationship. So follow that. And instead of drag, like, like getting dragged, kicking and screaming, say like, this is my future and I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm excited about all of these doors opening and all of these possibilities and make it a game it's all about a game uh about making life fun making adulting fun right and i think that that's one of the like my tips for you guys today is just just change your perspective on those things that feel like they are struggle that feel like their doors closing and look at the other side because I, for one, like could not see the other side of this whole diet thing. I just could not. And then I, I shifted this morning when I was meditating, which by the way, guys, meditation is like really good for this. <laughs> I shifted and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really excited to embark on this journey of like exploring food, like travel, but with food, like adventure and exploration and conquering and creativity in the kitchen. Like it's... It's really great. And, you know, here's something else. Every time you create space in your life, you allow, you create, you create, so every time you let go of something, you create space to really attract the things that align with you. And that is what is going to make you happy. That's what's going to make you feel fulfilled. And I know that a lot of us, like every single one of us are like, I want more time, I want more money, I want those two things so that I can spend my life doing what matters most to me, whether that's spending time with family, spending time with friends, um, exploring your creativity, climbing up the corporate ladder, like what is it that you want to do that you want more time and money for, for your kids, for your art, for whatever, to spend time in nature, gosh, I want more time for that. I want more money to do that too, like travel across the country and just like be in nature. This idea, I mean that, first of all, that creating space will definitely get you in the direction of creating more time and money, right? Because you're letting go and you're creating that space. But there are a couple other tips that I want to give you guys and I'm doing it in partnership with Mala, um, who is a finance expert. She's, she's also like really good at life stuff because I told you earlier she's trained by Oprah Winfrey's life coach like she's she's awesome sauce and so but she's an expert in the world of finance so I can help you like open your heart open your soul like see what's in there and what you really want and to make sure that you're not heading for something that's not going to fulfill you and then um she's going to help you like say okay let's do this and of course, I can do that too. We are really, we are, we make a really, really, really good team. Um, this is why she's one of my like really good friends. So, um, anyway, I hope you'll join us there. It's three days away. It's Tuesday night, um, June thirteenth, I believe, at seven p.m. And uh, I think we've only got like twenty some spots left. So the room's filling up really quickly, and 
it's going to be amazing. So um, there's a link somewhere. I don't know where the link is. I'm just going to point in all directions around this video. There's a link for you to grab your spot. I hope that I'll see you there. I love spending quality time with you guys. You're so amazing. You're so awesome sauce. And um, I hope I'll see you on Tuesday night. Alrighty. I love you guys. You're so awesome. You're so amazing. I love that I can come to you at any energy level. Like I can come to you at this, like I'm at this very calm, peaceful level right now. And I can come to you like completely hyper and really, really excited and just like bouncing off the walls. And I can come to you in that middle zone too. So for that, I'm so, so grateful. But um, I will see you tomorrow for the countdown. Today is three days till the training. Tomorrow is two. So I'll see you for the two day countdown. Okay.